Hey everybody. You know, throughout the past three and a half decades, if you will, when it comes to recording with VHS tapes, and then as of last decade, DVDs and even Blu-rays, the one thing that's always been constant with us when it comes to recording is the no is is the known recording modes that we use. Now when it comes to VHS tapes, the average is two to six hours. True, on rare occasions you would have the you know, true on rare occasions you would have VHS tapes out there which would be a recording length of six and a half to ten hours. But the traditional recording modes when it came to those are two hours and six hours. And the reason for that is it would allow people to get possibly three to four movies on there, maybe six one-hour programs, or on the average 15 to 16 episodes of a half-hour show. And again, the same could be said for DVDs and Blu-rays. The average recording deal for us on those the average recording time for us on those would be about two hours to six hours but there's a difference though you see the one thing recorders DVD recorders did is they evolved along with Blu-ray recorders coming out later in in the decade last decade that is the first decade of this new 21st century was we were given the addition of one hour. Now true, some tapes did give you that option. Some VCRs did give you that option of doing one hour's worth of tape, which was a no big deal. But, most, but mostly the one hour high quality mode came out during the, came out and became more prevalent, more prevalent if you will, during the ushering in of the DVD recorders and the Blu-ray recorders. Now the reason it became more prevalent is because it would give is because DVDs and Blu-rays have a standard they gotta live up to. And that standard is giving the people the sharpest, highest quality picture that they can think of or that they, they can get. And when it comes to Blu-ray recorders, same thing. But you know the bar set higher because not only with a one hour to six hour recording mode mode you know you know being set there for them to live up to the standard but again the bar is raised higher because not only do not only are they expect not only are their blu-ray recorders expected to give the people who own them the highest quality and sharpest the sharpest and highest quality picture they can get but since blu-rays are designed specifically at times for high definition I mean you can still play a blu-ray on an average uh, TV like that but still because they have the reputation now of blu-rays basically being meant for high definition if you have a high definition television Again, their sta their, the standard is the same for them, but it's raised a little bit because not only like DVD recorders, when it comes to the one hour uh, HQ high quality mode up to the six hour uh, EP mode, not only do they have a standard they got to live up to by giving the sharpest and high quality, the sharpest, clearest, and most high quality pictures they could think of, but with Blu-rays, they're expected to give not just that but a picture quality that would be that would look good that would look really good on high definition so in other words if you have a high definition television a high definition television it allows you to record that movie in high definition or watch that movie in high definition because their standard is the same as a DVD recorder, but it's up a little bit because they're expected to have the because basically they're expected to have 
the picture quality once recorded, even with you know, it, once recorded with the one hour one hour recording mode or the six hour recording mode to be the sharpest and clearest that they can think of. And that, again, that's a standard they got to live to. That's a standard they got to live up to. And again, like I said, the same goes for DVD, except they don't have, except their standard is sharper quality and high resolution picture and high quality picture. That's basically their deal. The sharp quality, high resolution picture, where the bar is set a little higher for the Blu-ray recorders to do the sharp, high resolution picture, but making it sharp and clear enough that it would look great on high definition. You know what I'm saying? And that is why, like I said, when DVD recorders and Blu-ray recorders became prevalent even more so throughout, uh, to, throughout the 2000s, throughout the 2000s, that the one-hour recording mode was added in because, again, they have a standard they've got to live up to. Now, true, some DVD recorders and even Blu-rays, like, like my DVD recorder, give you the option of going all the way up with th nearly 14 hours of recording, basically giving you the, what is known as the ULP mode, which is, like I say, near 14 hours of recording. Now, the ULP mode is great and everything if you want to put together, let's say, a, a variety disc like this, and you want to put in multiple program, and you want to record multiple programs, or movies, or shows, one hour or half hour, on here to let's say on a long trip keep some of your family members if not the kids busy I mean let's say you go to a McDonald's you're going on a long trip and you want to take a lunch break and let's say you stop in at a Sonic's or a McDonald's and a Burger or a Burger King or wherever and you get the movie to, not in the movie but you get the food to go and let's say you drive to the nearest truck stop which is probably not that far away and let's say you decide, okay, we're just going to roll down the windows and we're going to eat here and we're going to watch a movie at the same time, then there you go. You have a choice with, say, a variety DVD that you've recorded thanks to the um, EP to ULP modes that you get on your DVD or Blu-ray recorder. But, even though that's great and everything and in a way that keeps the kids busy, what really helps out, ladies and gentlemen, what really helps out at times is when you decide, hey, I want to individualize my movies. I want to have, I don't want to basically have to pull something like, like this out and look on the back of what's on there just so I can watch it. I want to basically have its own, I want to basically know that it's right there for me just to pull out and watch. In other words, you want to individualize it like let's say you like let's say at a video store you want to individualize it you want to make sure that it's the only thing on there you don't have to like I say go on a recorded blu-ray or DVD disc look on it and see what's on there so you can find it you want to just have it right there to where you could just pull it out and say this is my movie this is the one I want to watch and that's where the two hour to even six hour recording mode comes in or even or even the one hour to six hour recording mode because here's what here, here's the deal right here you can see I have some movies including right here that are all recorded basically mostly all six of these here these six movies here are recorded with the two hour recording mode the SP mode this one right here is recorded with the LP mode the four hour mode now, now the reason, again, these are recorded with the SP mode and the 4-hour mode is to individualize them as their own movies. So that way, again, you know, you don't have to pull out a movie or pull out a disc and look on the back or something like that and all the front and see what's on there. Instead, you'll just know, okay, I'm going to pull out, like, okay, let's say, like let, let's say this is a shelf right here, right? And then you see, okay, I want to, and let's say you say, oh, I want to watch a uh, Sonic the Hedgehog Doomsday Project movie. You pull it right out, there you go. You don't have to worry 
about wondering if there's anything else on there, you know that that's what you're going to see. The same with the GoBots. In fact, there's a guy on iOffer.com, I think, that's selling this as an exact DVD. And what you do is you just pull it out and know that, okay, it's GoBots, nothing else. Same with uh, same with Tailspin. This is the uncut version of the movie of the television movie pilot, Plunder and Lightning, and you know, okay, I want to watch that. There you go. Same with these here, Tangled. Same thing. You want to watch Tangled? There you go. Karen Carpenter story. Same thing. The Fighter, even though it's only in a jewel case. Same thing. But what I'm saying, folks, what I'm saying is that. Even though, what I'm saying folks is, even though people like myself like to do the variety deals so that we can have um, as many, you know, so that way we can have choices on a movie, we have our own, have different choices, which is a good thing, especially like, let's say, on a long trip, individualizing them, you know, as their own movies with the, by using the one hour to six hour recording modes helps out as well. Like let's say here, Cleopatra. I should have used the six hour recording mode on this because it went a little over four hours. That's true, it went over a little it went over a little bit of four hours. It stopped actually about four hours exactly, and it, uh, it was actually about four hours eight minutes. You know what I'm saying? So basically though, even though it's even though I should have used the six hour uh, recording mode, which I'll probably do again, if you want to see this, all you have to do is just pull it out and say, okay, there's Cleopatra. No big deal. But that is why, even though people favor doing a record, favor using a Blu-ray or DVD recordable disc, is to record a variety of programs or movies or shows, even though they favor that, mostly because, you know, they can have a variety of choices, when you go and when when you decide when you decide to go individualize or when they decide to go individualize Ising, that basically is saying that they would rather have the movie right there they'd rather not have to go through the anguish of let's say with a VHS fast forwarding and rewinding to a movie or even though it's not that bad it's really really simple they don't want to have to go on a menu a recordable menu and have to select like on the first page or go to the second page to find the movie they just want to have it right there for them to watch right then and there and that's why a lot of people favor the one to six hour one hour to six hour recording modes all depending on the length of the movie Let, let's say you know Cleopatra and Gone with the Wind you gotta go six hours on those even though they have a little bit of space they'll be their own individual movies and the same can go with these, even though some of these are about an hour and a half, if not a little bit more so, they're their own individual movies. No big deal. Right? So, you know, there you go. And that's why people do it this way, so they can individualize them. That way they don't have to, you know, have to look at a DVD or a VHS, look what's on there, and then, like, say, like I said, with a VHS, fast forward or rewind, or go to a menu and have to go, like, to, down to the last movie or the last selection on the first page or the first or last selection on the second page just to find what they're looking for you know this is what looking for even though it's not a big deal and this is more favoritism and this is more favored towards like say you know you know keeping kids and families busy on long trips by doing it this way you have it right then and there I mean even on a long trip let's say you have them all like this you have them in a bag like this, all you have to say is say, okay, open up the bag. All you have to do is like say, tell the kid, okay, open up the bag and pick out the movie you want. There you go. But anyway, what I'm saying is that even though the six hour to near 14 hour recording modes are good, good for, for recording a variety of movies and programs and stuff like that, especially when it comes to going on long trips and keeping the family members, especially the kids busy, individualizing them you know with the by using the one hour to six hour recording modes is just as good as well because that way you know that that's that that's the only movie on there there's nothing else and you know that's about it so that's all I'm gonna say on it tell me what you guys think do you agree with what I said or not and I'll talk to you later